Wow, that's a short problem. This is 2019, Amy 1, problem number 14. It reads, find the least odd prime factor of 2019 to the 8 plus 1. So in this video, we're going to be working with mods because it's just way easier to see. So let's say the prime in question is P. So what this means is that 2019 to the 8 plus 1 is divisible by P. Or we could say that 2019 to the 8 plus 1 is congruent to 0 mod P. Or rearranging, we can get 2019 to the 8 is congruent to negative 1 mod P. And I'm not going to write the mod P. It's going to be way too much writing. It's going to take way too much time writing on Zeitboard. So this equation kind of reminds us of something. It kind of reminds us of Fermat's little theorem, which states that if we have a not divisible by p, we get a to the p minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod p. Again, I'm not going to write the mod p. But in the equation above, we have it congruent to negative 1, not 1. And we want to get it into that form where it's congruent to 1, so then we can apply Fermat's little theorem. The easiest way to do that is by squaring, because negative 1 squared is congruent to 1, and 2019 to the 8 squared is equal to 2019 to the 16. So we get the equation 2019 to the 16 is congruent to 1. And now we can apply Fermat's little theorem. But we have to be careful. We can't just set p minus 1 equal to 16, because 2019, where we're, when we're continually multiplying this factor by 2019, it might reach a congruence of 1 before it ever hits p minus 1. So I'll give you an example of that. We have 2 mod 7. We do have 2 to the 6 is congruent to 1, but we also have 2 cubed is congruent to 1. So a more accurate way to describe this is if we raise each power here to the k, the left hand side becomes 2019 to the 16 to the k, and the right hand side, since it's 1 to the k, that's congruent to 1. And we can assume that 16 to the k is equal to p minus 1, because any number to the p minus 1 has to be congruent to 1. But that doesn't say anything about any number raised to some power less than p minus 1. But with multiplying by k, we can guarantee that 16k is equal to p minus 1. But we also have to be careful because 2019 to the 16 might be congruent to 1, but 2019 to the 8 might not be congruent to negative 1. And we can see this in this example to the right with 2 to the 6 is congruent to 1. Because 2 to the 6 is congruent to 1, but 2 cubed is also congruent to 1, not negative 1. So we have to keep that in mind as we check each value of k. From our congruence right here, we get that 16k plus 1 is equal to p. And now, the fastest way to finish this problem from here is just by checking different values of p. Because we know that p has to be less than 1000, and p goes up in increments of 16, and p might be non-prime numbers, so that would be pretty easy to check. So let's start. Let's say k equals 1. So if k equals 1, we get p equals 17. So we want to see if 2019 to the 8 mod 17 is congruent to negative 1. So 2019 mod 17 is equal to 13. So this equation becomes 13 to the 8 mod 17. Well, 13 to the 8 is simply equal to 13 squared to the 4th, which is 169 to the 4th. Well, 170 is divisible by 17. So 169 would be congruent to negative 1, mod 4. But negative 1 to the 4th would be equal to 1, which isn't congruent to negative 1. So that means p is not equal to 17. Now let's check k equals 2. Well, if k equals 2, p equals 33, which isn't a prime, so we don't have to check that. And when k equals 3, p is 49, which also isn't a prime. And this goes all the way until k equals 6, which is our next prime that we need to check. So when k equals 6, we get that p equals 97. So we want to see what 2019 to the 8 is mod 97. And if this is congruent to negative 1, then we're done. We can stop here and we finished a number 14 in less than 5 minutes. 2019 mod 97 is equal to 79. So this is congruent to 79 to the 8. And 79 is also congruent to negative 18. So we can write this as negative 18 to the 8. And negative 18 to the 8 is equal to negative 18 squared to the 4th, 
which is 324 to the fourth. And 324 is congruent to 33 mod 97. So this is just congruent to 33 to the fourth. And 33 to the fourth is equal to 33 squared squared, which is 1089 squared. And 1089 is congruent to 22 mod 97. So this is just congruent to 22 squared. And we can easily calculate that as 484. But if we divide this quickly, we see that 484 is indeed congruent to negative 1 mod 97. So that means that p equals 97 does work. And we've also shown by the above work that no primes below it work. So that means p must be equal to 97. And we're done. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe for more content. We'll be releasing other Amy videos shortly.